up, Cam Troops, aka Kamal Squad. You already know who it is. It's me, Cameron Amani, coming back to you guys with another YouTube video. And in today's YouTube video, we're gonna be doing a hair routine, a takedown and install routine, y'all. So the other video did kind of well. I'm gonna link it down in the description. It was my wash day routine. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this on camera. So give this video a thumbs up before the stylist get right into it. Y'all, so I had this hair soft for two weeks, two weeks too long, and about to go ahead and well i just took it out the bun y'all so sorry for the way my camera propped up but i'm about to go ahead and uh cut it because <clears throat> why take down the whole thing when i know where my hair stop at Woo! shout out to hector because if you're watching this now you know what i mean when i say my braids gonna fall out the bun if my bun fall this is what i mean so this is actually how long the hair is y'all it took well i didn't braid it but Took long enough to braid it. So let me jump in show y'all. And I'm about to go ahead and start cutting it. Let's see what my hair stop. I need some hair scissors. I don't feel like I want to go get them. I used what's already in the bathroom. And then y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. And I'll be right back when I get my hair all the way took down, y'all. It's been about five minutes. I have half of my hair taken out. I gotta finish this half or whatever. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and then I'll see you guys when it's time to blow dry. All right, y'all. So I have my hair um, fresh washed or whatever. And so I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it off camera because I don't want y'all to be bothered by the sound of the blow dryer. But I'm gonna put some oils in there. These oils. Help your hair uh, not be tangled. I think if you watch my uh, wash routine other video, the first video, first link down in the description, you'll see what I'm talking about. So you kind of put it on there before you blow dry your hair. Put this back in the sink. I'm going to put this on there for sure because it helps your hair grow as well. You only need a little bit of this. And... But to go ahead and blow dry. Like I'm an athlete. Okay, guys. I didn't know the camera started. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in a ponytail and um Tomorrow I'm gonna pick up. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna pick up on this video, and my sister's actually gonna. Um, she's gonna do the bottom braids because I can't do base braids. I'm not gonna film that because I don't know if she wanna be filmed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and and start a crochet on camera. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. See you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Come on, I'm doing my video, so I finished doing your braids. Oh, snap. Still give you the support you need, so why should I say in Detroit? Train, so pretty much, you guys, at this point, it was just the base braids. This is the hair. You don't need that much hair for your base braids. You just see me right here putting it back in the pack. And so um, this is, I use the single ease 1B because my hair is like kind of jet black. That's like, I think, the blackest I can get. And then once you open the pack, you will take your needle. The needle comes in pink and green. I don't have that in this video. Or it comes in purple and green. And I use purple and green because that's for the jumbo kind of hair. And the pink and green is for the other kind. And so I take the needle. I put it in my hair. I, um, I keep it closed while I put it in. And then I open it, attach the hair on through the loop, close it, pull it back, pull it up a little bit. And you guys kind of see how I do it throughout this video. I'm going to get closer a little bit. This is what it looks like, guys. These are the braids. If you do want more details, feel free to comment. I will let you know exact what pack. This is how I do it. No, I don't do it like that. I think I messed up. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so I put it on there closed, and then I go down so it'll look right when you pull the hair up, and then I slide right on back, and that's how I do it. And I found out how to do this way like a couple years ago because it's just faster and it's easier, and that's how you get it on there. And a lot of people are very curious how it works, but that's how it works. 
And then so now you've seen this clip, I kind of, um, I do my, the ears first. So I'll know I have enough hair. I do use Apex. I've always used Apex. And then I do the, the edges and then I do the back of my hair. So the, the perimeter is pretty full. And then you can kind of skip around in the middle to make it look good because the hair is kind of heavy. It's really heavy. Promise me. It's, I mean, trust me. <laughs> It's very heavy, guys, so that's just something I recommend. And in a minute, you guys are going to see the full product, so thank you so much for watching. All right, y'all, so this is what it turned out to look like. I kind of did my edges a little bit. Um, yeah, so I always keep it like this because the hair is kind of heavy or whatever. But, yeah, that's what it turned out to look like.